Hello everyone, it's me Azdejim here. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a butterfly girl and here is my inspiration board. Blue and white butterflies, flowers and lots of glitter. For this project I will use a 17 inch Draculaera. So let's cut off her hair and prepare her to the repaint process. In this video, I wanted to show you one more time how I carve the eyes. Just because I'm not sure I filmed it properly in my first video with Candy Unicorn Girl. Here, I'm working with X-Acto knife. It is very sharp, so please be careful. I start from the middle of the eye and slowly work my way to the outlines. This process usually takes some time, so just be patient and work slowly. I finished carving her eyes, so let's remove her factory paint with acetone, wash her face with soap, and let her dry for a couple of hours. Meanwhile, I will start to make the most important part of her look, the butterfly ears as I call them. To make them I will use paper butterfly wings that I will cover with glitter and fabric flower petals. Here are the decorated wings. To assemble them I cut out two felt circles and I will attach the petals and the wings to them with low heat glue gun. Basically I'm making flower base and then glue on the wings. The tricky part is to make them symmetrical. That is why I'm constantly comparing them. Okay, now what's left is to add the pearl beads and figure out what is the best way to attach the wings to the doll's head. I will probably use some wire or something, not sure. Okay, these ones are ready and now let's decorate the large wings for her back. These wings made out of plastic and I want to use lots of glitter to decorate them. 
I use gloss liquid X varnish as a glue for the glitter and going wild with it. And here the wings are ready. For this doll I prepared the eyes already, so if you would like to know how I made them, please check my cat girl video. Starting to repaint the face now. I sprayed it with two layers of Mr. Super Clear, let it dry and beginning to draw the main lines, the eyeliner and the lips. Every time I satisfied with the result, I spray the face again with Mr. Super Clear Sealer and layer up the colors. For the repaint, I use a watercolor pencils, chalk pastels and acrylic paint. When I was editing the video, I noticed that if I put the process of the repaint on high speed, it lowers the quality of the video, probably because I made it all from my phone. So I decided to show short parts of the process on regular speed. Starting to save some money for a new laptop and good camera guys. The eyebrows are always a struggle for me. It takes me lots of time till they look symmetrical. First, I draw them with pastels and then go in with watercolor pencils. I'm drawing the lighter undertones first and then go darker with the pencils. adding some details to her makeup and then I will highlight her face with pearl pigment powder, cover her lips and eyelids with gloss varnish and add some glitter under her eyes with help of Liquitex gloss varnish of course.
Most of this powder will fly away when you're going to spray the face with Mr. Super Clear. So you should put a lot and layer it up. For the next step, I will glue on her eyelashes with Gemtech glue. You can use any fake eyelashes you like. I put a small amount of glue on her inner eyelid line and carefully adjust the eyelashes. The same way, I glued the lower eyelashes and the small pearls under her eyes to give her that dreamy look. Now, when the eyelashes are dry, I will put in the eyes. I use a permanent putty glue for that and we'll be right back for the hair. I decided that the hair will be white with a little bit of blue and I will use Angora hair wefts and acrylic yarn. That's why I painted her scalp white and marked the root lines. The rooting is done. I will brush the yarn and start gluing the wefts. Okay, that's done. I also attached the butterfly wings with a wire to her head. I finished the hair and now it's all about styling. I usually improvise with clothes and this time I found this paper clay car set that I made a while ago. So I wrapped it with tulle and it turned out really nice. Now I need to figure out how I want her to dress to look. Some lace maybe and tulle pom-poms that I made and of course ribbons. And of course, let's not forget the wings. There's lots of work to be done. I braided her hair, finished the dress, and made her the cutest kind of fairy shoes. They cannot be removed, I sculpted them from epoxy clay. And decorated them with glitter, pearls, and ribbons. I'll show you them in a second.
Oh, and of course, let's not forget the wings. I glued the magnet to them and to her back, and that's how they hold on. Here's a close-up on the shoes. I love them. Our butterfly girl is ready, and I was thinking to call her Nila, which means blue. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'm always happy to read your comments with suggestions and feedbacks. They mean a lot. You're also welcome to follow me on my Instagram account to check out more interesting updates. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.